M0FXB, we're going to get the APRS set up on this FT3D. So first thing we'll do is go to the, uh, hold down the DISP button. Then we'll select APRS here in red. Then we'll just go through one setting at a time in the menu. Trying to get out of this glare a little bit. Okay, well, it's quite bright here today. Let's do one at a time. So, number one, AF dual. So that's turned on. Uh, that means you can receive the radio at the same time. Number two, that's the sort of default setting. See if we can hold it a bit more like this. There you go, that's a bit better, isn't it? Go back. Number three, APRS filter. So you can uh, decide what's going to be shown there. You can pick and choose the ones you like. APRS modem, so that's important. So 1200 BPS is the, is the common one, but you can actually turn that off. You need that on to use APRS. APRS message flash, so for how long the, uh, the, the message appears on the screen with like, you know, the sort of GPS data message with the info. Four seconds is mine. APRS message group. So that's default settings. APRS message text, there it is there, and I've got a message in that says hi. APRS mute, so if you don't want to hear all the noises, you can turn the mute on. APRS pop-up, again, you can pick and choose what you see. APRS ringer, never really use that. So um, I'm guessing it could be a notification sound. I'm not sure. APRS units, you can decide if it's kilometers or miles. APRS TX delay. So there's a 300 millisecond delay there, you, but you can change that. Uh, beacon info. So that's, I would say that's, it's a funny one. I've not really used that. Ambiguity. Select ambiguity on off one. Oh, I get it. What it is, um, if you don't want people to know where you are, you can set it to be slightly different than your actual location. Ambiguity. So, uh, yeah, it's for privacy. Um, right. Beacon interval. So, I think three minutes is fair. If you set it too short, it might annoy someone. That's when it's in auto transmit mode. Uh, we're going to use, I always use mine in manual mode. Beacon status text. So status text is off at the moment, but let's turn it on. And then what happens is it will, it will send out our status. And you can actually put something in the text section uh, to do that. You go down, text, push display, and then you can type something in. I've got the words high in there. Uh, number 16, beacon TX. So mine's set to manual, but you could set it to auto. And then you get this little circle appear on your screen. It'll just auto uh, transmit, which is quite good sometimes. You can be listening to a hotspot on A band. And then on your B-band, you could have APRS just running away, transmitting and receiving. It is quite interesting. COM port setting. So, yeah, you, you can connect this to the com your computer, choose a COM port, and then, you know, interact it with uh, pro programs that you're going to have on your computer. Digipath. Don't really know what that is, but there it is. GPS setup. So... That's the default setting there, so I just leave it as that. GPS power, yeah, you're going to need GPS on or it won't work. Um, you could set it to manual GPS, um, 
and uh, maybe that'll get around it. Try that. Back. GPS time auto at the moment. GPS units. That's your position. Whether you're going to use kilometers, miles, miles per hour, meters, things like that, you can change those units around. So really, menu 11 and menu 22, you need them, uh, you set them really for your, what kind of units you're going to use. Call sign is silly important, because without your call sign, it's not going to work. Now, most people have a different number for different, for things they're doing differently. So, you know, if they're going for a, a drive, they'll, they might have a five, and if they're going for a walk, they might have a three. You know, it's, it's like that. So it's a way of identification. And when you look on APRS, FI, you'll see that. Uh, your position, now mine's on manual, but it, you know, if you've got a GPS lock, then uh, GPS is fine. Manual always works. GPS is hit and miss, depending on your location. And the symbol, I've got a radio on there, as you can see, but you can choose all sorts of symbols. Walking, bike, car, it's quite fun. Position, comment. So in service, and there's a few, returning, committed, special. I just got in service. Um, smart beaconing. Never use that, but you can use that. Turn it on and off. Time zone, yeah, you can add. So if it's winter or summer, you can, you can decide that. And so that's all of it. So what I'm going to do is grab my, um, my Kentwood. We'll go back into normal menu. We're on APRS on the B band there. I'll grab my Kenwood and we'll transmit from the FT3 to the Kenwood. And you should see a message pop up. So let's just, because we're in manual mode. Let's get these into focus. Okay, so let's go FMW. Let's just get the angle a bit better here. And then we'll go Beacon TX. All right, that, that just transmitted to my um, 74, but the 74 didn't display it. Let's try it again. There you go, you got the message that time there, see? So now let's try it the other way around. So on the 74, you would just push the six, because for manual. And there you go, there's the APRS. And I think that's fun because both radios, um, they're both dual band radios. So if band A is busy, at the moment it looks like it's quiet but let's say you've got band a on your hotspot. um you can listen to that and do the aprs stuff at the same time with both of these radios so hope this helps um please subscribe and uh, like my channel and seven three all the best